of Manchester FM, your community radio station. I'm in Manchester today talking to Ella Dufton, the producer and director of A Surgeon's Photograph. Hi Ella, tell me about A Surgeon's Photograph. So A Surgeon's Photograph is set mainly in the 70s in Scotland. Um, So Robert's dad's killed on the lock and he's grown up thinking that um, Nessie is the one who's actually killed his dad um, so we kind of follow him and his friends as they journey to uncover the truth about what happened and follow the relationships as they go and this is a musical as well um, tell me a bit about the music yes yeah, so it's um, a brand new musical and um, the inspirations mainly come from Scottish culture and folklore sort of mixed with elements of 70s culture so there's like progressive rock elements and David Bowie's been like a really key influence um, as we go along yeah so this is a it's a new show although it has it's it been around some of the ideas and the the music has sort of been in development for a while yes yeah, so it sort of started off as a concept album um, and it's been in the pipeline for a few years now and we sort of as a production company decided to come back and revisit it um, and made some major changes and make it really relevant to the current day so what if people are coming to people are looking forward to coming and seeing um the show what do you think they'll get out of it what do you think is going to be the highlights of a surgeon's photograph um so it's a big old coming of age story so we're looking at like ideas of faith sexuality friendship as we go along and i think the main thing you want people to leave the show feeling is like inspired and um, just having had a really good time because the music's absolutely phenomenal all completely original so yeah it should be really exciting so this is um your production company it's first time at the greater manchester fringe are you looking forward to it yeah we're so excited to get started so um like in this is in conjunction with my brother so my brother's actually the one who's written the show um and we've done the edinburgh fringe a few times um, and decided that you know what we really want to create our own show and we're starting off in Greater Manchester because we're from here it makes sense and um, yeah really excited and I'm right that the two of you are from Bury yeah yeah so we've born and bred um, grown up in Bury went to school in Bury so very much of the area <laughs> yeah but there's the Scottish influence there too um, where where did the where did that come from where did that kind of Influence. You mentioned the folklore and the culture and that. Where's that come from? Um, so our gran was Scottish, so that's kind of the original um, roots of that. Um, and like I said, we both spent like months at the Fringe um, and that's been a really big influence with all the creativity and being surrounded by all of that and like the people and the culture. And it's been a real driving force in what we've created. So, yeah. And that, that's made you want to bring Nessie to Salford. Yeah, definitely, because it's a tale that everybody knows and has always been intrigued by. And, like, we like the idea of myth and legend and how that plays into your everyday life. So, I mean, I don't want I say bring Nessie to Salford. We're not going to spoil anything from from the show. We're not going to say what, what you will see on stage or what you won't. But how has it been... How are the cast finding um, preparing themselves for this performance? Yes, so the cast are also all from Bury, um, and like it's been a real collaboration with them as well. Um, so a lot of them were involved in the original recording, which we did, um, and they're just sort of bringing their own ideas, and it's been really great to get everybody involved. What are the particular challenges with with staging a musical? I mean, it's quite ambitious for for you know the first performance you've done at the Great Manchester Fringe because a musical is it's yeah. What are the challenges? Um, so obviously the challenges come with the music and learning the music, but um, it's we've got such a solid foundation and all our cast is so so talented as well that it's just been picked up really really easily. Um, and I'm trying to think another challenge, it's trying to create the magnitude of the lock in a theatre in Manchester um, but we're giving it a good go and it's looking looking really good so yeah atmosphere magnitude because these are things that people associate with Loch Ness I mean it's it's a pretty huge 
empty space. Well, maybe empty, maybe empty, who knows? Um, so creating that on stage. But the music's going to play a big part in that. And obviously, um, your brother James has written the music. Jacob, and sorry. Jacob, Jacob, yeah. sorry. <laughs> um, has written the music and um, has written the show as well. Um, is he... How's he um, approaching this this task of sort of atmosphere and magnitude? Um, so it's the music sort of builds as we go through the whole thing, um, and it's can be very atmospheric as well. Um, so at the beginning, it's a bit more questionable, and then we build and build as we go on through. Um, and we've got some lovely, lovely songs that go on throughout the whole piece. Um, and he's actually performing in it as well. Um, so it's really nice to see him get to like bring his creation to life as well. Excellent. Um, so the the show's going to be on at Footlights, um, which is at Media City. So Salford, not quite Manchester, but it is the Greater Manchester Fringe. So it's great to have. We've got um, writers from Berry performing in Salford. It's proper Greater Manchester, that isn't it? Um, what are the dates that the show's on? Um, so we're running from the first to the third of July at seven thirty at Footlights. Thank you very much for talking to me today, Ella. Thank you very much. 106.6 Sounds good to me